Hello everyone. Welcome to Mentors for IAS. This is a very unique initiative in the mentorship of um, UPSC civil service examination. Here we are trying to handhold the aspirants for prelims, mains, even for the interview. As part of that, we are conducting the mains mentorship program meant for this year's mains, that is 2024 civil service examination mains. As part of this, we are conducting few sessions with respect to answer writing, essay, ethics, etc. As part of that, I have done few sessions on like how to add the illustrations and what is the importance of the presentation skills, even with respect to how to <coughs> write how many words, how many pages, in how many minutes, for how many marks, all that thing we have discussed. Similarly, I am going to tell you about the importance of context writing in the answers. So especially when we take up the GS papers, there are three GS papers, one, two, and three. So in every paper, we have 20 questions. So there are around 60 questions. When you give the task of making the questions to any UPSC question paper setter, rather than going for the age old issues, rather than going for the textbooks, rather than going for very basic concepts, the question paper setter would remember the issues which are going on right now, or he will refer to the current affairs. So current affairs will be there in our short term memory also. And our mind will be relentlessly thinking on the current affairs. So if I have been given a task of you know, like making few questions for UPSC, definitely I would refer to some of the recent issues. So when it comes to let's uh, uh, let's take the elections, general elections. So in general elections, like I will try to you know like bring in few of the reforms that have been implemented in the general election 2024. So like that, I will be more worried and I'll be more interested in knowing the aspirant's view upon the current issues. So that is why we ask most of the current affairs question. And in fact, UPSC also asks most of the current affairs question. So if you take these 60 questions in total, around 40 questions will come from the current affairs itself. And if you consider the subjects like geography, history, there will be very few issues with respect to geography, history, art and culture, sort of that. So there, they will be going for some of the textbookish questions. But when it comes to the issues like polity, economy, environment, science and tech, internal security, society, so on and so forth, they will be worried more about the present situation and they'll ask the question. So generally, when we go to the answer writing, we have the age old practice of writing the introduction in the starting, then the body, then the conclusion. So this is like our university practice. But what do we write in the introduction? So if something is asked, either we define it or we write the historical background of it. So everybody does this only. Then how your answer is going to be different with your when it compared to your competitors. No, you will end up in getting the average marks because you are not writing anything anew. So if the question is also on democracy, you will write about Abraham Lincoln. So Abraham Lincoln defined democracy as blah, 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 blah. Then if the question is asked on social justice, so you will quote the John Rawl, John Rawls theory. Or if you are asked about constitution, you will write about Ambedkar. If you are asked something about the national movement, you will write about Gandhiji. So we'll end up in writing very mediocre or a very average introductions. So rather than going for a pale introduction, what I have seen over the period is the people who write more context, that is what is the context. This context tells about 
why this question has been asked why this question why why only this question you would have asked another few questions like 20 30 questions but why i am picking only this question because this is more to do with the current context so if you identify identify that context and you don't have to remember the current affairs of just last month or a month before that or like this year's if something is relevant even let's say two three years back or five six years back which is there in the fresh memory of the people that also you can write for example if the question is on anti-defection law if the question is on anti-defection law many defections have happened over the period every year one or the other um, defections will be happening so if i don't remember the recent defection which has happened in maharashtra few, a few days ago if i remember the defection which had happened in 2011 in karnataka which was called as operation kamala so maybe i'll remember that and i write that that also holds good so rather than going for the pale introduction go for the context of the answer i keep on telling the students every year at least since last eight ten years i keep on telling the people that you have to write the context but they fail to write because they have accustomed to this normal introductions but i have seen the people getting average marks from that but there are few people who listen and write the context not for all the questions at least for 60 percent of the questions they are getting more marks because this is the first paragraph that the evaluator is reading and from the line one the evaluator will understand that you are not like others you are trying to give something special in this answer so that is how you will end up in getting more marks so listen to us so rather than going for the age-old practices bring in new dimensions bring in new innovations in answer writing then only upsc is going to make you uh, 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 or uh, evaluate you in a different pedestal so that is why we request you that so for the hints like this or for the trend checking like this or the analytics like this so kindly reach us so we'll be conducting the mains mentorship program for 2024 so kindly subscribe to our course to find such more strategies tricks and trades of upsc what we have seen in the last 13 years thank you all the best